Welcome to Beyond L&D, presented by North Pass. I'm your host, Peter, and today I'm joined by Ava Lee, the Learning and Development Manager at Hello Alfred. Thanks for joining us today, Ava. Thanks for having me, Peter. It's great to be here. So why don't we start with learning a little bit about you and uh, how you use training at Hello Alfred. Originally, I'm from Finland. Uh, I work there as a psychologist, so I have like that natural interest in, uh, in humans and how we do things. And, and I've always uh, worked with learning development in one way or another, or training and coaching and so on. At Hello Alfred, I've been involved since the early days. I joined the company when they were really small and they didn't have any uh, official training program for their employees. So we started from scratch and built something so that we could have the highest quality uh, training for our new employees and forward. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about how you go from no training at all to like where you're at now? Because most people think about that and think that's a huge thing to try to tackle. They can't even imagine going from zero to an amazing online training program. So how did you start and how did you kind of get to where you are now? It definitely goes in stages. So so you need need to first have something and start to go from there. So I think it's good not to have the, the bar too high in the beginning because it's always important to start somewhere and you can have that empty empty canvas problem that you don't have anything if you don't just start doing. Um, and it nobody can do it by themselves. So you need a team, uh, even though at Hello Alfred initially that team was very small, but still it's a team effort and, and anyone Work in the company can help with that. So um, it definitely goes in stages. Like I said, you first build something and then you start to improve it and see how well you're doing with the, the program that you have. And the improvement never ends. It's like ongoing process to make it better and better when the company changes and grows. Yeah, and that's a great point. And on a previous episode, we had Sarah Miller from Havenly, uh, an on-demand interior design platform. She said that if you're waiting for your program to be perfect to launch, you're never going to launch. It's just never going to happen. There's exactly. no such thing as perfect. So how do you kind of overcome that mindset and that perfectionist inside you and just really launch something? Because you work in a startup where things are happening really fast, you don't really have that chance not to just publish or not to just launch something. You just have to have something for your employees and think what is best for them. So even if you cannot always give them the best version, uh, you can give them some support and help to, to kind of have what they need to succeed in their work. Yeah. And you mentioned before that you come from a psychology background, which, you know, learning is sort of a function of psychology. You're trying to teach people things. So how do you use that to your advantage in the training programs that you create? I think the biggest thing for me is never to underestimate your learner. Um, people can do amazing things and they have amazing abilities if you just know how to offer them the platform to do those things. So um, I see the fact that we learn the best when we are appreciated and when we feel like we are heard and, um, and our ways of learning are taken in consideration. So I think that's that's one of my main main lines that I follow. Yeah, yeah, and that makes a lot of sense. What's your goal with your training? What are you trying to accomplish with everything you do and how do you sort of make sure everything aligns to that goal that you set? So the ultimate goal with our training is definitely giving our employees what they need to be able to succeed in their work. We also want them to have career growth so that they can develop their skills in the areas within our service that they, they are motivated about and interested in. So it's there's many goals um, and, and because training is such a crucial part of our business, they need to have what they need to succeed in their work so that our company succeeds. Right. So um, I would say that's that's the ultimate goal is to offer them what they need yeah you want people to be able to grow um, you want people to have the highest level of customer service and customer mm -hmm. satisfaction and at the end of the day you want everything to tie back to your brand so what advice would you give to someone just getting started in the LND field or maybe a younger version of yourself I think definitely start from somewhere. Uh, don't be afraid of not having the perfect program right away because it's it's an ongoing process. And also listen to the people who you are building it for and and what they need and and how how they want to be uh, developed or trained. So I think those are the two two cornerstones that I would have. Yeah, that's a great point. A lot of people 
don't even collect feedback, mm-hmm. let alone listen to what other people are saying. How do you use that feedback as a tool for you to improve uh, your training program? For example, when our new employees uh, have gone through their training and they or their onboarding training and they start with their new new job, um, we ask them after a little while how comfortable they felt on their first day doing their work alone, um, and and if that that number is not nowhere near nine or ten from one to ten mm-hmm. scale, then we know we haven't done a great job because you want your people to feel comfortable doing their work and knowing what they need to know to succeed in it. So yeah, I say that's a really good question to ask. Yeah, and I think a lot of people say that feedback might not be actionable, the person might not necessarily know what they're talking about, which I don't think is true. How do you actually take the feedback that you're able to gather and improve your training program and improve your business? Well, I think it's the feedback is a direct indicator of how, how well we are doing with our training. Looking into it as a learning opportunity uh, is a great thing. So what can we learn to do better based on the feedback that we have received? Uh, if it's something less than perfect, there's always room for improvement. Um, that's what we strive for, is to give the highest quality training to all our employees. So thanks for joining us today, Ava, and telling us a little bit more about the things you guys are doing at Hello Alfred and sharing your expertise. Thank you, Peter. It was great to be here. Mm-hmm.